Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we got one more video without Brittany in it. She doesn't get here until the 5th. I'm out here actually trying to wash and wax the van. I've already washed it, waxed it. If you guys remember from our honeymoon, Brittany had used that window paint uh, made for automobiles to write you know just married and whatnot on the van and it left some marks on the van uh not marks but you could actually still see the writing so i thoroughly cleaned it uh you know washed waxed it you know turtle wax and it did a decent job so not too shabby turned out all right up here you guys can probably see actually it's not really showing on the camera so there is a uh, big scratch up there that is from a tree. <laughs> um, I say a big scratch. It's something that easily corrected, but yeah. And what we're going to do now is actually a gift from my mom for Christmas is a curtain rod. Uh, in the Turvado group, there is a curtain rod that a bunch of people recommended uh, just for when you're stopping and staying at Cracker Barrels and stuff and you don't want to throw up the uh, front window shades. Uh, there's a curtain rod that fits perfect there. So I'm going to install that. I'm going to take you guys along today while I install that. Just show you what I do. All right. So this is the rod from Amazon. <clears throat> so as you can see, it has some sliders here and some clips. So this looks onto your curtains, but this right here doesn't require the curtains to have uh, you know, holes and loops. So the curtains can slide to one side, make it much easier that you don't get stopped by the attachments. And I'll show you guys the attachments and how that works. This is a clean install on a ProMaster van, specifically a Travato, but others will also work. Very clean install, no uh, new screwing, drilling holes, anything like that. So uh, check this out. All right, so, I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is to uh, install. You get these little caps right here. They go over your screws. You have three of them. This is on your overhead uh, storage. You have these three screws in here. All you do is pop those off and then uh, I'll show you guys the attachments. All right, guys, so I got two of them installed. I'm gonna install the third one, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what I did uh, to get this installed here on the Winnebago Toronto 59 GL. We have a 2022, works on the other ones too, though. Previous years, I believe, from what I've read. So, you guys see right here? That's your attachment piece to attach the rod to. You don't need all that. So what you do is you just unscrew this. And I'm using this little flathead. It's actually a Phillips. Um, but I couldn't find a flathead. I don't have my tools here. They're on the way. So all you do is unscrew that. And you throw all the other pieces to the side. You only need these two pieces. And they're attached, so you ain't have to worry. You're gonna use the screw from the ProMaster, and this right here, it's a little stiff, um, but as you can see, it bends down, it really rotates down, and goes around your rod. Your rod snaps into there, easy. 10, 15 minutes, installed, you have a rod. Something I didn't mention while I was putting these up, guys, is you see how this one right here says out? 
This one says out. Let's try not to get a shadow. That one says in. You want to make sure you set those up just like that. Out, out, in. Because when you put the rod up, this is talking about the outer rod and then the inner expandable. You want the expandable on this side because the outer goes about, you know, you can put it over to like here and you want it to catch the expandable part right here because it's thinner. If you have that on this side, the in on this side, you won't be able to fit your rod in because the rod can't go as far over there. So you won't be able to catch the expandable rod on this side. So in that side for the inside expandable rod. Well, as you can see, it is installed, looking good, clean install. And then right here, where you uh, take out the screws that are on the ProMaster, you have these little white covers that came with it. You can pop those right back on. And this looks good, clean, easy, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And now that I told you about the uh, out, out, in um, attachments, That'll make it a little bit easier for you. I ran into that snag with the uh, attachments. I had to move them around a few times um, to figure it out. It goes in tight though, I will tell you guys that. So when you're putting in the sides, it does go in tight because this one is a little bit higher, but it snaps in perfectly fine. It's solid, it's going nowhere. Um, and then you have these little thingies right here. So this is where your curtain will attach to. And these hooks right here, there we go, we focused in on it. So this is, uh, this will attach to those hooks and this, these will clip around your curtains. And there you go. Easy modification to do. Probably one of the ones I'd recommend to do first. If you want privacy curtains here, when you're on the road, quick and easy, put them across. Don't have to worry about putting in those kind of annoying, uh, window coverings so we have some major plans here coming up for the end of january i'm not going to share those you guys are going to have to wait stick around for our next video when Brittany will be here and we're going to let you in on uh the plans some major modifications things like that that we have coming up soon but i hope you guys enjoyed this quick easy install video for a curtain rod for privacy curtains and the ram pro master and the Winnebago Torado specifically. Thanks again for watching. Please like, definitely subscribe, share it if you feel like it. Drop a comment down below if you guys have any questions or if you just want to say thanks for uh, me putting this video out there because there's not many out there about this. And I will put down in the description exactly uh, what the link is for this on Amazon. Thanks guys. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking